where did it all go wrong? It was a party of the usual sort. Lassies resurrecting jelly shots with princess heads crowned inside bogs and I recall someone's bionic sausage dog clinking its paws across the kitchen tiles. That part always makes me smile. Robo dog. I was smoking, mixing, not really thinking about the repercussions. The kitchen was alive with concoctions, all sorts of magic brews and potions you'd usually expect belonged in a cauldron being stirred by some old crow. And you know, it was the night my girl left me. I was on the road to self-destruction. For too long I'd been punching while she sat there in isolation, fuming, on the verge of spontaneous combustion. I was only 27, human, a slave to the raves and hedonism, but with hindsight, I was a lapsed adolescent. I became reclusive, hitting the antidepressants, lost my job to non-attendance and blamed it on a poor immune system. <laughs> Could no longer afford the rent. Surfed on a friend's couch and left before they could ask any questions. At the corner shop where I bought backy and skins for my handmade rollies and rusted shutters are spray painted with fuck the Tories, I saw her across the road, her arm linked with a lad I knew worked for the police. Final straw and all other proverbs. Heart sore, with bloodshot eyes, I climbed inside a squat where mouse shit sustains the flies and cried up to a hole where a roof should be, like a heaven where a god should be and studied the beams where a rope could be and I won't lie, it scared me. To die swinging inside a filthy shell where a wallet is emptied as a soul without a farewell before anyone notifies the authorities. Or worse still, an old cop's hunch about blue bottles on the windowsill. Now I'm not wanting your pity or charity, I was the creator and destiny of my own ruin and elimination, but respectfully leave me to stumble on the rubble of my own love story and somehow, in some way, I'll find a solution.